So now when we created the symbol, we have to create the footprint as well. Okay, the footprint will be placed in the PCB library. IC general PCB lib. Here, I will go to the PCB library and I will add new symbol. So now, hmm, what, how can I make this symbol? Well, I can actually check out the datasheet again and under SSOP20, I, know I've, I can find all the dimensions I need. And these dimensions of the footprint are uh, standardized. So each dimension is marked with a letter which should be the same for every datasheet. Cool. So now I can start placing the pads one after another and making sure that all dimensions are met. Well, I have a wizard for that and I can use it. It's called IPC compliant footprint wizard. So this IPC compliant footprint wizard um, will first ask me what type of case I would like to make. And the closest is SOP, which covers all these different <laughs> versions of SOP, single outline package. So now I have to type in the dimensions. So here is the data sheet and here are the dimensions. First is the width range. It's always a range because um, the minimum and maximum values can be different, of course, due to tolerances. And uh, this should be typed in, in order for the footprint to meet all the types or all the dimensions of the case uh, according to its tolerances. So let me see where, what is age? Well, in this chart, there is no age even. So I have to rely on the drawing here. The age is the width, the maximum width of the chip, including the leads. Cool. Okay. Age. What is age here? It's called E actually. Okay. E is between 228 and 244 mils. And here dimensions are millimeters, but I can type mils anytime if I want. So 2 to 8 mils and 2 to 4 mils. The maximum height A is 6, 9 mils. The minimum stand of height A1 is 10 mils. Uh, it's actually 4 mils. Body width range E. Mm. Here it's called E1. 150 mils and 157 mils. Body range D, width is correctly marked here, 337 mils and 344 mils. Number of pins is 20. Lead width range B, B minimum is 8 mils and maximum is 12 mils. And the lead length range L is 16 mils up to 50 even. Okay, and pitch is the dimension of the, the distance between two adjacent pins. It is 25 mils. So I set all the parameters. I have, I want to generate the step model as well. So when I open it, I see the step model, the 3D model as well. Cool. Next, I don't need a thermal pad here. This IC does not have it. I will use calculated values for the heel spacing. So between these two points, the S is even not defined in the data sheet. And here I ha can have to select the density. If I select low density, um, all the dimensions would be larger. <clears throat> and this green square around the chip is called courtyard. And this courtyard prevents other components to overlap. So this is the part which should stay without intact, without any other components. And um, if I check, uh, select the high density, then this courtyard will become smaller. And the rest of the component, well, parts would also be smaller at the minimum. So I would go for medium density. The rest I will leave 
unintact, automatically calculated, tolerances automatic, everything devolves, default, and uh, I prefer rectangular uh, pad shape, not rounded. Okay, going for rectangular. Next, the silk screen line width. I will choose 0.2 millimeters. The rest will be automatic. Courtyard will be added, and the mechanical layers are also can be left automatic, um, unless you want your own numbers layer numbers to be used here. And I will use the suggested values for the IC description. Next. I will produce the 3D step model, embed it, and finish. Okay. So this is now the new IC. As you see it in 2D and 3D, it's, I suppose, well made. If the pin numbering is correct, I, I can save the project now. PCB library, I will go to schematic library now. And I will add the model to this symbol. So I will add a footprint, I will browse it, and I will choose the SOP64 with the name that was suggested. Okay, I can check the pin map. Pin map should match. This is very important that the pin mapping is matching so that every pin number in the schematic in the symbol is equal to the pin number in the pattern in the footprint sometimes these pin numbers can be different it depends how you number the pins on the schematics so if you are wise you should number the pins and the symbol with the numbers that correspond to the pin numbers on the pattern but sometimes if you have different numbering you can always set the correct mapping here and you should be really careful because if you make a mistake here the whole design will be wrong okay and that's it i can save the chip so the schematics is also saved i have to compile the library and when the com library is compiled i can use the integrated library so i can go and choose the integrated library IC general which I was changing just now and I can choose the FT231X and move it in and that's it